and giving it back to me. Giving it back to him, it's not just saying, I'm giving it to you. What I'm saying is, I'm not going to receive, I'm not going to draw any praise for myself. When people say you're such a good whatever, you're such a good painter, you're such a good singer, say thank you. But when you get home, Lord, all the praises I receive, I give it back to you. This is all for you, not for me. Because if you didn't bless me, I couldn't bless them anyway. It's that acknowledgement. Cast it on the ground. Don't get proud. Don't, don't let your head get big because you can sing well, because you can draw well, because you can design well, because you can preach well, you can do anything well. That's why the Bible says, esteem others better than yourself. That's a very, very humbling thing. Especially when you know you are good at what you do. And people remind you that you are good at what you do. It's also not, I'm not also espousing uh, false humility. Oh, you know what? You sang so well. Hindi ako yun. Ikaw yung kumantay. Tapos, bobulay mo pa ako, hindi ako yun. See? Ikaw yun. But because your attitude towards your talent is right, it makes you more usable to God. So now, that voice becomes bigger than it really is. When I was in high school, when I was in grade school, I had terrible stage fright. Terrible stage fright. Most of you know that. When I got to high school, I still had stage fright. Until my fourth year, my senior year, when I joined drama. All because of a dare. I knew I wouldn't make it anyway. Just audition, you know, we had to sing, we had to dance, and we had to recite one line of anything. You know, you can just walk there and say, uh, Jack and Jill, went up the hill. They just want to hear your voice. It doesn't matter what you say. A, B, C, D, F, G, J, K. You know, it doesn't matter what you say, just say something, right? So I did Jack and Jill. I did Jack and Jill. I mean, I figured, I, <laughs> It was so dumb, there's no way I can get the part, right? <laughs> I like dancing, but you know, it's, I like boogie, cha-cha, you know, and, and, and mambo, and rumba, and all that, but that's not what they're looking for. So I figured if you do a few cha-cha steps there, you're not gonna make it, right? And then sing, oh my gosh, sing? No way, I sing like a pro, you know? So anyway, we did it, and I got one of the lead roles. So either they were desperate, or maybe I had some talent I didn't know. And so we went through the play, and out of six shows at Maralpa Theater, we got five standing ovations. And the thing is, I enjoyed it so much. I guess I enjoyed applause more. You know, I like it when people clap, I like it when people look at me. I like the attention. All of a sudden, I like this. Something I was so afraid of, all of a sudden, I liked it. You know, I actually enjoyed the applause so that the next year, I was studying in Switzerland. I came home for Christmas, Christmas break, and uh, the high school where I was, I was already first year college, well, going to first year college, the high school where I was, was staging another play and one of the guys got sick. And so the director just said, uh, uh, Joey, can you be the one to take his place? I said, uh, what do I need to do? Because all oh, you just have to learn uh, uh, 10 songs, 12 dances, you got 12 days. And I said, sure, we'll try, we'll try. So I did, except one dance. One dance, I was all over the place. It's a good thing I was dressed up like a clown, so you know, it was normal for me to just clown around there. But I actually enjoyed it. I, I really had fun. Anyway, but you see, it, became, it was a natural ability that was hidden. Hidden all through my grade school and part of my high school years. It came out, but it was still natural. It was not submitted to God. So by the time I now got on stage, and I knew people were going to listen to me, I liked it so much, I never bothered to give it to God. And so I ended up hurting people. And I looked at some of my old messages, 
And there was a lot of harshness to it. A lot of people were hurt. A lot of people felt condemned in the process. Casting it, say, you say, Lord, I know I have some natural abilities, but those natural abilities still came from you. I give it back to you. Use me any way you like. You tell me to sing here, I sing here. Tell me to dance there, I dance there. Tell me to make money there, I make money there. Tell me to build there or draw there or paint there, I'll do it. Lord. Whatever you want. Because all abilities come from you. All abilities come from you. And I put that to the test. If God is able to do everything, and nothing is important and impossible for those who believe, then Lord, I want to learn how to play the keyboards. I sat there in front, we had a grand piano at home. I sat there in front of the piano, and I was so desirous to, I said, I really want to know how to play the piano. Lord, teach me. And for the next three months, he did. This is how you make a major chord, press one, three, five. You want to make a minor chord, flat the third. You want to make a diminished chord, flat the third and the fifth. And I started to count, and, and, and he taught me, I saw the notes. I don't read notes, I saw the keys rather. The white thingies and the black thingies on the, on the, on the, on the keyboard, and, and I just knew what to press, and I started to play it. And I told our worship leader, I said, give me a song. And he, the very first song I learned on the piano was uh, In My Life, Lord, Be Glorified. What an appropriate song. And I started to play it, just chords. And then little by little, I started to rearrange the song and, and adapt it and things like this. Then I started learning new songs and more songs and more songs. And, and then I said, I can do this, I can do this. After I said, now I want to learn how to play the bass. I want to learn how to play the guitar. I want to learn how to play the drums. And one by one, the, the talent started to multiply. But the thing is, I did not surrender to the Lord. So now I would pray, Sana absent you pianist. Sana may sakit para ako magkikiboard, para makita ng tao ang galing ni Joey. And that was my motivation. It was. Many, many years ago. And so pride was the one that was ministering to the people and not humility. People were impressed, but they were not blessed. They were not blessed. And we're not here to impress people. We're not here to impress people. If ever we're here to impress God, by being obedient, cast the rod. Because inside that rod, there's a snake. There's a snake inside. The Bible says not to trust in your own abilities, not to lean on your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge it. In Proverbs chapter 3. What does it mean for him to, when, he, when, when finally you see there, it says that, he said, take it by the tail. That's suicide. You never take a snake by the tail. But what did he do? Take it by the tail, God said, so I can take the head. Then you let me be the head. You let me be in control. You allow me to do the work. You allow me to, to change you. You allow me to bring you from here to there. You allow me to help you raise up your children. You allow me to help you build your business. Don't do it on your own. In all your ways, acknowledge me. Lean not on your own understanding. That's what Moses had to learn here. The same rod, the same rod, when you put it in the hands of God, is the very same rod that will be able. See, he didn't realize that there was a snake. But even with that snake there, it was the same rod that still parted the Red Sea. The very same rod. The very same ability that I have to preach to a few people. But when I gave it to the Lord, He trusted me to have more people. And it's going to get more and more as I humble myself and just keep on holding that rod by the tail, the snake by the tail, and let Him handle the head. See, this is the thing as I begin to close. We like to be in control. And by itself, it's not necessarily wrong because He wants us to have dominion. But He wants us to have dominion as we submit to Him, to His authority, to His word, to His constitution. It is not an authority that is independent of God. Then you're the one holding the head. 